Hey guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to batch rename photo file names for free on Mac or PC. It really doesn't matter which you're using, it's going to be super easy using this free program. So if you've ever made this mistake before, and you have accidentally exported a bunch of photos, but you've selected the wrong file name settings, so you can see we've got a bunch of random numbers after these files, or the order starts at 760 instead of at 1, well, we can fix that without having to re-export those files all over again. This can be super handy, especially if sometimes, let's say, to the couple, I want to give them files that are named James and Courtney, but for the venue, I might want to put the venue name in there and have that venue name show up instead of James and Courtney. Right, so we can do that by using this free program for Mac or PC, it's called XNView MP. So you can go into Google, just search XNView MP, download that, and you'll have this program for free, or I'll show you how to do this also in Photo Mechanic, which is a paid program, but there is a 30-day free trial, it's got a few extra options. Okay, let's show you the free way, 100% free. We just open our photos in Quicken View, so all I had to do was just navigate to the file folder, and we're just going to select all of the photos inside of this folder. Okay, I've selected all. Now I'm going to go up to Tools and down to Batch Rename. That easy. Now all we have to do is come up with a new template. So I could just put in my new string of names. So we could start, let's say just have James and Courtney in there and then it will automatically number it. So you have James and Courtney, James and Courtney, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. And we can actually expand this to have different things in here. So we can keep the original file name if I just wanted to add something at the end. So maybe I put signature edits at the end of the file name. And all we do is hit OK, and we've got our brand new file names. That easy, that simple, that quick. Totally free, okay? Now sometimes you might actually have the need not just to rename the files, but you might need to get them in order to begin with. So that can be a challenge if for whatever reason your files aren't showing up in the ordered date or time. So let's say that we had the end of the day showing up here and the beginning of the day showing up here, etc. They're all mixed up. Well, the way you can do that is to start by sorting them appropriately. So we're actually going to have to select all of them. We're going to go to view and then filter by or sort by, depending on the program you're using. And then just look for the EXIF data or we can look possibly with our created date. So that or in Photo Mechanic, you're looking for something called Capture Time. And so basically when you export your photos, most of the time if you're using Lightroom or a photo application, it's going to record the actual original file data, like from the camera, inside of this file. Even though that file data no longer shows up in the file name, it's still in there and this program is able to see it that way. So just go in there and play around with that sort function until your photos are in order and then go ahead, follow the same steps, and rename these photos. Now, if you have Photo Mechanic, you can go ahead, hop over there. It's the same thing. We select all those files. We go to File, Rename Photos, and there's a couple more options here that we can set what we want to have in here, what we want the number sequence to start at, and what we want to show up in the file name, all that good stuff. So it's the exact same process. Then we would hit Rename, and our files are renamed. So if you're looking to batch rename photos inside of Mac or PC, it's really quite simple. That's how you do it. I hope this was helpful. If it was, do me a big favor, hit that like button, make sure to leave a comment below, and subscribe if you're interested in more photography tutorials, resources, and free stuff. All right, I'll see you in the next video, and peace.